hey guys this is shubham deep today i will explain what is the structure within a structure okay so here is the definition in prior lecture i was explained what is a structure what is the concept of a structure how it is in a slice how it is declared okay so i hope you have been learned that and now i will tell you how to use the structure under a, another structure okay so here is the definition we can take the object of one structure as a member in another structure this is called a structure within a structure and this utilizes for creating critical data application okay so it is so simple uh, definition and if you want to uh, simple manner if you want to know in the simple manner so this is actually when you use the object of a, uh, of a structure within another structure this is called a structure within a structure and i will show you with the example okay so here is example of a structure within a structure okay so first i want to tell you what is the purpose of this program this program is useful for scanning the value i mean the first name the last name the middle name of the person and date of birth of the person means day month year and after that just print that values okay means first name middle name last name and date of birth okay so here i have a three structure in, in this program which is first structure is struct name okay first structure name is name and uh, second structure name is b date which is birth date and last structure name is data okay so in data structure which is here i'm just getting the object object of another structure which is which declaration is happened here okay here you can see that this is the format of creating the object and struct name nm means nm is the object of a structure name and here struct b date is b date means uh, i'm just creating the object of structure b date which is here written down here okay and here you can see first name may contain 10 character maximum and middle name may, may contain 10 characters maximum and similarly last name okay and here it has an integer type variable so it will contain an integer value that's mean day month and year okay of the date of person or date of birth of the person uh, and here you can see that i'm also creating the object of struct data okay uh, which is i will tell you what is the use of this here you can see that i'm just printing a statement which is enter first middle and last name that means suppose there is a person which has a first middle and last name and that uh, whenever we uh, we enter the name in the uh, to the system it will store that name at the address of first middle and last and this is the actually this is the exact approach for providing the value to the address of first name okay you can see here and whenever i will provide the name it will be stored at the address of first name at the address of middle name at the address of last name and after that i will provide the value of date of birth which is suppose suppose any day from uh, 1 to 30 1 to 31 and a uh, uh, month from 1 to 12 and a year of any year okay so here you can see that i'm just printing those value which i scanned from here okay and this is the format of printing those values that i scanned okay so let's let's run this you have to use actually dot operator when you create the object and when you link the object and another object which is a d1 nm and first this is the variable this is the object and this is the object and i'm just linking these values for making a particular approach okay this is the concept of using a structure i mean object of the structure so let's end this program so here you can see that it's asking first name middle name and last name suppose i entered any name which is uh, sam is the first name kumar is the middle name and mr is the last name okay and date of birth suppose one zero is a date and uh, zero one is any month and uh, suppose 199 any four okay so here you can see that the name of the person is sam kumar mishra and the date of birth of the date of birth of person is 
1904 okay so this is a so simple concept of using the structure within a structure so i hope you have been understand how to use the structure and the structure within a structure okay so there is also a concept so there is also a concept you can also ignore this and you can directly create the object of those values okay and but uh, at that time you have to remove this i mean sorry you have to remove these values okay actually i want to tell you how much of projects actually available for uh, printing the values scanning the values and how you can print the values of the structure means member of the structures okay have completed okay so i just i'm not uh, uh, using a third structure which is which was data actually i am directly creating the object of uh, these structure and just printing those values okay but here i am creating a single i'm not using any structure within another structure okay i'm just getting the object of uh, those i mean those structure and uh, uh, i'm just uh, dynamically initializing the value of uh, those i mean member of the structure and uh, after that i'm just printing those values okay it is not the actually a structure within a structure okay so i'm going another i'm going to run this program okay so it's asking the value suppose okay so you can see that that will is printed as the same as before okay the name of the person is uh, sam kumar misha and date of birth uh, is uh, 1001 okay so but here you can see i'm not creating the object of i mean i'm not uh, using a structure within a structure it's uh, directly uh, i'm directly creating the object of the structure and just printing those values okay so thanks for watching my video i hope you get the meaning if you have still have any confusion any problem related to your structure so you can put on my channel actually it's a so it's an important part of the programming okay so please learn carefully okay so thanks for watching and bye and please don't forget to subscribe okay now bye